Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, hopefully, you know, people are trying to keep cool, you know, in light of this, you know, heat wave, you know, during the early part of July. So, anyway, I figured, you know, today's film discussion would be about the movie uh, Tag. And, you know, one of the things people are probably wonder, like, how is it that, you know, a childhood game could, about Tag, which, you know, many people, including myself, played as a kid, could be turned into, like, a very interesting uh, film. So basically, the movie's inspired by a you know a true life story on a group of friends that played uh, you know tag as you know as an adult like you know like competition more f you know for like fun to, just to show like friendship and things like that. So you know this one deals with the characters of Hogan, you know Jerry, Bob, Randy, and Kevin, you know who were childhood friends who you know who play tag and they get together like every. Movie. You know, May and play tag, you know, for the whole month of uh, May. And then, of course, you know, Hoagie's, you know, married. And then you got, like, Randy, who's, like, the stoner. And then you got Bob, who's, like, you know, the successful guy. And then you have, like, you know, Jerry, who's, you know, you know Hoagie wants to target in the game of tag. But Jerry's been kind of been proven to be, like, unbeatable in the game of tag because of his, you know, ever-changing, you know, tactics and his method of staying, you know, one step ahead of his friends and of course you know Jerry's you know getting married you know to a woman named uh, Susan and you know of course I would say that the movie was actually surprisingly a lot better than I thought it would be because it was kind of interesting like how a childhood game of tag you know you know is like something that brings their friends together and you know some a tradition that they continued on as adults, you know, and still, you know, managed to be friends, which was, you know, something rather interesting and surprising to see. And of course, you know, the movie was actually a lot funnier than I thought it would be and provided so much needed laughs and also, you know, you know, the more important message of the movie showing, you know, the power of friendship and sometimes, you know, that can be a common thing that can, you know, bring friends together with tag or, you know, something else. So. And then, of course, you know, well, I thought was pretty cool about it was to see, like, you know, actors that are normally known for, like, say, uh, dramatic roles, like, uh, you know, say, Jeremy Renner, of course, people know famously as Clint Barton in the Avengers movies and John Hamm for his D Don Draper role in the Mad Men series, can actually be quite funny in comedic roles, which was kind of a cool, uh, refreshing pace to see. And, yes, I would definitely recommend it for those you know, that like the game of tag and of course like some good laughter and of course, you know, like I said previously, the power of, you know, friendship and things like that. So, in terms of the rating, I would say I'll give it like a 9, probably 9 out of 10 because of course even though the movie isn't known for its story, but, you know, just, I would say more for its humor and good-hearted message. Alright everyone, thanks again for watching and hopefully you try to stay cool during this crazy heat wave. Alright everyone, take care.